General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. When Reagan went to Berlin in 1987 and said, tear down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Reagan recognized that things were changing. My name is Ramesh Ratnazar. I'm the deputy managing editor of Time. And I've just written a book called Tear Down This Wall, A City of President and the Speech That Ended the Cold War. This was a wall that was erected within a city that divided families, that divided neighbors. Uh, you know, one side of the block would be on the east, eastern side and the other side on the west, and you couldn't cross it. I mean, people I talked to um, talked about, you know, not seeing relatives for 28, 30 years because, simply because they happened to be on the wrong side of the wall. And what Reagan often said was that in, in most cases, people build walls to keep people out. And in this case, the East Germans, the communists, with the support of Moscow, built a wall to keep people in. And essentially, it became, came to symbolize it was almost like a prison. And I think um, for that reason, it really highlighted the contrast between um, the Western capitalist democratic system and the socialist Soviet-run system in the East. The fact that the East Germans were so effective at basically suppressing their own people um, masked the fact that there was tremendous discontent that was building. And by the time Reagan arrives, you're starting to see some of the signs of this. And just before he arrived, in fact, um, there had been a, a clash between East German youth and the police near the Brandenburg Gate. There was a concert going on just on the western side of the of the Berlin Wall near the Reichstag, uh, in which David Bowie and the Eurythmics and Phil Collins and other people were performing. And a lot of East Germans had heard about this and had come from all over the country to just try to listen uh, and just kind of get hear a little bit of this concert. And basically, the authorities pushed them back from the wall. There were riots, um, and you know a number of people were uh, injured and imprisoned as a result of this. But this really was the first sustained protest and uh, revolt against the communist government um, in like 30 years. Early in 1989, the communist grip throughout Eastern Europe started to crumble. And in Hungary, you had a, a group of reformers who really patterned themselves after Gorbachev, who finally managed to take power. And they decided to open the borders with East Germany. <laughs> And uh, essentially, this sort of what started as a trickle just became a flood, and people were just pouring out of uh, East Germany, and um, in some cases, just not coming back. And so the authorities decided they had to do something about this. They had to get control of the situation. So they decided to institute this policy in which people would be able to emigrate to other countries for, for a month at a time. Um, uh, but they wanted this to be very you know, controlled. Uh, you know, people would have to get their passports stamped. It would all be very orderly. Um, and on the night of November 9th, 1989, um, the government official who went to announce this policy uh, was asked a question about it and clearly not really reviewed all the details. And he somewhat inadvertently said, this policy takes effect immediately. And once he said that, people just started heading straight to the Berlin Wall to try to go across into West Berlin. And uh, basically, it was just too it was overwhelming. I mean, there were hundreds of thousands of people who were there that night. And the guards just said, we can't stop them. And they let them through. And, and that's basically how the wall came down. <laughs> 